हेलो गाइस सो फाइनली आफ्टर अ वेरी वेरी लॉन्ग वेट वन प्लस हैज फाइनली लॉन्च देयर ऑक्सीजन ऑयस रॉम फॉर द वन प्लस वन एंड आफ्टर सो मेनी प्रोमिसेस एंड सो मेनी डेट्स ऑन द अप्रिल फोर्थ वन प्लस डिसाइडेड टू लॉन्च द ऑक्सीजन ऑयस सो इन दिस वीडियो आई शो यू गाइस हाउ टू इंस्टॉल द ऑक्सीजन ऑयस ऑन द वन प्लस वन एंड वील टेक अ क्विक ओवर लुक ऑफ द रॉम सो बिफोर आई से समथिंग एल्स लेट्स गेट इन टू द वीडियो फॉर दिस यू विल नीड टू हैव एन अनलॉक बुट लोडर एंड अ कस्टम रिकवरी इंस्टॉल If you do not have an unlock bootloader or custom recovery installed, do not worry. I'll give a link of a video in the description below, and you can follow that method and you can unlock the bootloader and flash the custom recovery. And it is must that you should have a custom recovery, and TWRP recovery is surely recommended. And if you have already TWRP recovery installed, then simply hit the power button, then select reboot, and select recovery, and it opens. And now we will reboot into recovery mode. and now as you can see we have successfully booted into the recovery mode now first thing you should do is backup the current rom so that if anything goes wrong then you can simply restore this backup and you will be always on the safer side and backing up of the rom may take a little bit of time so do not worry just relax and let the backup get complete by itself and as you guys can see over here the backup of the rom is completed now simply hit the back button over here go back once again and now select wipe and just swipe to wipe factory reset and this will wipe your data cache and allow it cache and after that's completed hit the back button over here hit back over again and now select install and now we need to select the zip file which we are going to install that's the oxygen os zip this is the oxygen os zip for me so select that zip file and just swipe to confirm flash and the size of the rom was around 700 mb it was the biggest size rom for the oneplus one i have ever flashed and i'm pretty much sure that it will take a very long time to get installed so just sit back and relax let the rom get installed by itself so guys as you can see over here the rom installation has been completed now simply select reboot system and select do not install and as you can see over here this is the boot logo of oxygen os So finally we have booted into the ROM and let's select the language it's English for me select skip over here because i do not have sim card let me connect to my wifi and as you can see over here we can select if you want to use software buttons we can select that or else if you want to use the hardware keys then we can use hardware keys I'll stick to software keys for now. Select next now. And these many gestures are already present in the ROM like double tap to wake. If you draw an O on the lock screen then it will open camera, V for flashlight and music control for this. I'll show you guys in a minute. So select yes. And the ROM was around 700 MB. So obviously all the Google apps are present over here. and some google apps like docs and sheets or slides are unnecessary we can even download them from play store so i don't think so that it was necessary but it has been it is there so that surely is nice and the rom looks pretty good i would say and even if this is the aosp build of the rom even if you just slide from the right side then it will bring you to the quick toggles and if you want to customize these toggles then simply click over here and now you can drag and rearrange the icons like this and this which is not present in cm12 like it is present but for that you have to go into settings and then you have to go into some different option and then you can rearrange this but in oxygen os as you can see it's present over here only after that's done simply select that and let's check the double tap to wake feature and let's double tap the phone and as you can see yeah that's quite responsive and yes it's so and let's draw and v and yes it started flashlight let's draw o can't connect to the camera okay that's something which i shouldn't have got so i'll just reboot the phone as of now and let's see if the can't connect to the camera still remains there and as you can see the camera has started now but on the first boot it did not start let's click a photo and let's see how the camera is let's click the photo of this so let's go into the files that's the file explorer app for the oxygen os made by oneplus let's go into that
and the picture quality is good it's not as good as the color os camera if you haven't seen the color os camera for the oneplus one then i would surely suggest you guys to uh, have a look at it and i am surely going to install color os camera on the oxygen os 2 if you do not know anything about color os camera then do not worry i'll give a video link of color os camera in the description below so do check that out and do install that camera and you are checking the o feature let's check the o feature and as you can see the camera started pretty fast and the camera is clicking picture very fast too and that's nice they are not completely focused but those are good pictures i would say and this wallpaper is also very nice as you can see the never settle comes like this and and the rom seems pretty smooth no issues like that and if we go into about phone then as you can see uh, android version is 5.0.2 5.1 is released and 5.1 will be launched for the oneplus one on the oxygen os real soon and this is one of the most irritating game and i am not going to play it anymore and oxygen os version is 1.0.0 and if we go into system updates and if we check for updates we are not currently connected to wifi so ot updates are surely supported by the oxygen os and that's surely a nice thing and now if we go into multitasking tray then we can swipe each application like this or else if we have multiple applications open we can simply hit the cross button over here as you can see hit the cross button over here and it all the apps from the multitasking tray will be removed so the cross button surely looks very nice and paranoid android team uh, sorry actually oxygen os team has surely done a very good work on the rom and the rom seems pretty good and surely i'm going to use this rom as my daily driver for a little while and i'll surely make a video a review video of the rom so don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to watch that video so this is it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and if you have any doubts suggestions or queries then do let me know about them in the comment section below so thank you guys thank you for watching